Address lists are used to group recipient objects based off an LDAP query for specific Active Directory directory service attributes. And we can use the address list to sort the global address list into multiple views, which will make it easier to locate recipients. And this is especially helpful for very large or highly segmented organizations. So what we're going to do in this demonstration is actually create a new address list. So the first thing we'll do here is create a new one for all departments. So all we're going to do here is we'll come into the Exchange Admin Center, into Organization, into Address Lists. We're going to click our New button here. And what we want to do here is create our new address list for all departments. And we only want to create this for recipients with users with the Exchange mailboxes. So as you can see, we can do for mail users, resource mailboxes, mail contacts with external email addresses, and mail enabled groups. So we'll select Save. This is just our container address list. Click OK at this point here. And then as we can see, we have our all departments address list. Now what we'll do is we'll create an address list for our research users. So again, we'll just create a new address list. And in the case of this address list here, we'll call this one research. But this time here, what we're going to do is we're going to browse this through here and we're actually going to create this under all departments and click OK. Again, we're just going to do it for users with Exchange mailboxes and we're going to add a rule. And now a little drop down here, what we're going to do is we're going to go for department. And in the case of the department here, we're going to add in research. And then we'll just select add, and then we'll select OK. And just to make sure it has worked, we'll just preview the recipients, the address list includes. And as we can see, we've got a list of all of the users sitting in research. So we'll close this down now. Now we'll save this off. Click OK at this point here. And then all we'll do here is click Update and say Yes. And this is just updating the various address lists. And we'll do exactly the same thing with all departments, which was the other one I created. All right, so nearly done. And now we'll just verify that the address book has been created. So what we'll do is we'll move to our client machine. And on our client machine, we'll just come to our home page, go to send receive, and then under send receive, we'll go to send receive groups. And what we'll do here is we'll just download address book and we'll download changes since the last send receive and click OK. And then if we go back to our home page once this is complete, what we should hopefully find is when we go to our address book, we should be able to see on the drop down here, research. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating address lists. Thank you.